DJ Now we're going to move on to our harmonic exciter. The exciter will allow us to add some sparkle and some air to the top of the mix. I usually only play with band 3 and band 4. I don't touch the lower two bands. And we only want to add a small amount here. You can go overboard very easily with the exciter and shred people's eardrums and create a mix that just sounds like garbage. So less is more here, and we're just going to add a little bit of exciting to the very top range and band 3, which is the top mid-range. And at any point, if we want to A-B the results that we're creating, we can just toggle off the active button. Great. I like how that sounds. Lastly, we're going to move to multiband stereo imaging. So, with dance music, a lot of times it's listened to on stereo and mono systems, and it sounds good to have a nice wide stereo image, but again, you have to be very careful not to go overboard with it, because it can take the center out of your mix if you use it too much. In particular, with elements like a kick drum, a bass line, and a snare or a clap that you have panned dead center, you want those elements to be punchy and front and center. And if you use a lot of stereo widening, or if you abuse it, then it'll make your mix sound hollow and it'll lose its punch. So I have some very specific settings that I use here, and again, I'm only doing the widening on the top two bands. And only a very small amount. So I'm just going to nudge the slider up a little bit to 0.3 in the top band, and 0.2 in the mid band. Now what we can control is the delay as well. And what the delay does is it'll delay by a number of milliseconds the wet output from the widening. So it gives it a bit of a more aggressive effect. And again, I don't even use the sliders here because they go in increments of 1.2, which is way too much. Uh, I'm going to manually type this in, and I only want about 0.2 milliseconds of delay. And that'll convert all of them to 0.2. So we're going to really listen closely here to make sure we haven't taken the center or the punch out of our mix. All right, so that's finished with our mastering process, and the last step is to A-B the actual output of our mastered track versus the reference or the test track that we started with in the first place. So we're going to deactivate Ozone on the master bus, and we're going to solo the Alex metric track again, and have a listen. Now let's hear our master. And that's mastering with Isotope's Ozone plugin. Hope you enjoyed the video. I upload about a video a week, so make sure you subscribe for updates. And don't forget to rate the video, it helps the word get out. I also send out a bunch of great free stuff on my Twitter, Facebook fan page, my website, and video blog. Check out the links in the description for this video and follow me. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my next video. Cheers! DJ Batman,